What's up, guys? Welcome to the Stats Free Sports Channel. Here to answer NFL mailbag question on Joey Bosa. And the question is, what team should trade for Joey Bosa? I'll get into that in a few seconds. But before we get started, guys, let me know down below what team do you believe should trade for Joey Bosa? Or should you just stay with the Chargers offseason? So let me know how you're feeling down below. Let's get into it, guys. So first off, the question came the other day. Um... You know, basically saying what team should trade for Joey Bosa. The person gave me a, a nice little long list, led by the Cowboys, the Niners, uh, the Chiefs. You know, stuff like that. And I said a video is coming soon, <laughs> so let's talk about it. And the answer is no, flat out no. No team on that list, no team in the league should trade for Joey Bosa. You know, Joey Bosa. He's a heck of a talent, as we already know. You know him and his brother Nick are the standard as far as edge rusher goes. You know, as far as draft, you know those those guys coming from the draft, the whenever they came out years ago, now they were the standard. Both Joey Bosa went went first. He was top notch, top tier prospect, really a can't miss guy. Nick Bosa, people thought was even, was even better. You know, and they proved to be right for for the most part. You know, uh, Nick is better, but those two guys were the standard. And that's where, you know, you get the other, um, you know, the, the the draft comparisons of Chase Young to the Bosa brothers, who were teammates with him as well, at least at least Nick was. You know, the other guys coming out, top-tier edge rushers, are they close to the Bosa's and all that stuff? And, you know, that's where that comes from. So uh, they always are the standard as far as draft guys go, because draft prospects, because they were, you know, can't-miss, sure-fire, top-notch prospects. And, you know, everyone else falls in comparison to those guys and if they can meet that uh, mark of the Bosa brothers. And, you know, Joel, Joey was that for a reason. But after the last couple of years, come on now. You know, um, the reason I wouldn't trade for him is for two reasons. Salary cap, uh, he's he do, he do for a hit the next couple of years. I believe a $34, $35 million in 2024 and around the same price maybe a little bit less but like 32 million in 2025 and the contract in is there in 2025 season i'm not taking that hit for joy bosa i wouldn't do it you know um and the other reason obviously the best ability is availability the last two years and forget about the rest of his career prior to that you know we, we can get it today if y'all want to in the comment section but just the last two years alone he hasn't played that many games, hasn't had big of an impact. The injuries have been a burden the last, his whole career, but really just the last two years also. You know, it's a it's a what have you done for me lately league, and he hasn't really done much for, for, for his team. You know, uh, him and Khalil Mack could have been a great duo, but as we've seen, you know, he got banged up, missed a lot of time last year. So Khalil Mack was the only main guy as the pass rusher goes. And it's been like that for Joy Bosa's whole entire career. You know, he's... He's, he's had the potential. He's had to play as well. But it goes from year to year. The injuries come. They feel like game game after game or every other game is something he's banged up, injured, something. So it's like he just can't stay healthy. But his last two years have definitely hurt him a lot. And he's not that old. You know, he, he's not that old to be like, oh, he's, he's, a, he's done. But it's like the trade value, that's done to me in my opinion. You know, and the, in all honesty, to be serious, if he were to be cut right now, I don't even know he would get $10 million in the open market. It might be a one-year $5 million deal, one-year $7 million deal. But the way he's, the, the money he's making now, he's better off trying to restructure with the Chargers than anything, you know, trying to go be cut and go somewhere else. And if you're trying to win a title, then cool, you can get that. And you can be cut, sign a one-year, $5 million deal, $7 million deal, and go ahead about your business. But if he still wants to get that money, that guaranteed money, he should be fighting like crazy to say, hey, I'll take a pay cut, restructure, something. And I was seeing articles about, you know, some of the cap uh, cap crunching guys that are really good at, at what they do. And they were saying, basically, the Chargers, you know, as we all know, the Chargers have a bunch of, have a, a, a high in the cap. They're in the, they're in the red by a lot. You have Kenan Allen, who's rumored to be staying. He's probably the only guy to be staying. Like he's the legit. Uh, he he he's in the clear. You know he's not gonna go anywhere. He's safe. But Bosa, Mike Williams, um, Khalil Mack, those three guys with the high caps, 
they could be traded, they could be let go, they could be restructured, they're all up in the air. But Allen is the one that supposedly, the he's in the clear, he's coming back. Harbaugh wants him, the fan base wants him, all that good stuff. And I think uh, the GMs and all the ownership wants him as well. They want to keep him around for Justin Herbert. Everyone else could be up for grabs. And out of all those three, I mean, I think Bosa should be gone. I mean, it's clear as day. He's the most injury-prone guy. You know, Mac, older, but, you know, he's had his fair share of down years and injuries, injuries as well. But from what they've seen from him lately, he hasn't shown it. He was amazing. You know, and um, Mike Williams, he could be on the outs as well. You know, he's young. Just got a big contract a couple of years ago. You know, uh, do, they, do they really need that many big-time, high-paid receivers you can get one in, in, in the draft, you know, another big boy like a, a Mitchell from Texas or a Keon Coleman or, you know, someone who can fill that Mike Williams role or Quincy Johnston, the guy on the roster already, you know, the last year's draft pick from TCU. You know, so to work with him and really really develop him, he could take that role and, and do that there. So um, everything points to Keenan Allen staying, Bosa maybe being restructured, Mac probably traded and Mikey Mike Williams he's up in the air so you know we'll see how everything goes but uh, but yeah like it's 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 been it's been really bad for Bosa as far as the production goes you know trading for him would be insane you know for anybody Cowboys Niners t- even if you had the money like the Texans the Bears it would be crazy you'd be taking on so much of the risk Unless, you know, you can get the Chargers to, I guess, eat most of the cap. No, eat, eat most of the